right, we are halfway through the amateur card. Next up at 155 pounds, James Huffer. Yeah, and I think just trusting them, you know, because... And yourself. If, and you got to believe in yourself and trust yourself. Yeah. Sometimes you have people that are just unsure. You know, they want to get one more Emmy and one more fight, one more fight. But Sometimes you got to rip that Band-Aid off. And just take the lead. Yeah. Stop worrying about the consequences. His opponent... His opponent, Gunnar Somerset. Stop making so many silly errors. We're still making errors, don't get me wrong, but stop making silly errors that amateurs would make. And you're making more so just minor, minuscule errors that, you know, just more so just, yeah, yeah. Your, your training partner. Yeah. You, you know, you, you, yeah, you, you're just training with this person and you just know each other so well. Uh, obviously, he's going to capitalize every now and then off of something because you can't just throw the same shots to somebody right. every week for a whole year and a half, two years, whatever. Gotta catch up to you. Yeah. Both of these fighters are fighting in their very first MMA bout tonight. Woohoo! Debuts. In the blue corner, he's 29 years old and he fights for CCK out of San Jose. He is James the Hyphy Hippie Huffer. Hello, Bay Area. <laughs> James Hyphy. I love it. In the red corner, 21 years old, fighting for House Gracie Pleasanton. Gunnar Somerset. Let's go, boys. Lightweights. Yeah, you better watch out. Some of these kids might be on your heels one of these days. Someday. <laughs> I'm taking notes. I'm always taking notes. <laughs> Oof. Nice single leg. Ooh, oh, no, nice. Nice ground and pound. Oh, bro, those are brutal. He's got to move. Yeah, Huffer's got to move. He's got to move. Because those are heavy. Those are, those are big shots. Rest telling Huffer to make a move. Oh, and he's up. But can he stay up? Because Somerset's already looking for that next takedown. Good reversal. I see if Huffer can settle in here. Nice knee to the body. Good second knee. Those jitters are definitely gone now. Both just trading knees in the pocket. Right in front of my face. I'm loving every second of this tie clinch. I, oh, God, I just wish that in amateurs you could throw elbows. Oof. Oh, a nice roll through. Now into the mount. Can the hyphy, can the hyphy man get hyphy? Oh, oh he's holding the cage. Is he under the neck? This looks like he's hunting for it. He, he's a little high right now. If I were him, I would try and sit back a little bit. Tripod if I'm uh, Somerset. Somerset, if I'm Somerset, I'm looking to reach for the head with that leg that I already have and drive him over me. There you go. Take down of my own, possibly. Thanks, shots from Somerset. Oh, man, I didn't even I hear that 10-second clap. I didn't clap. hear the clapper. I didn't hear no clapper. I think they forgot. I thought they were getting distracted from the brawl. Yeah, because that was, that was a round. But you gotta have, like, this is, you know, Cambo's obviously been around for a while. Yeah, and obviously when you go to casino, casino those. fights on the on the reservation, you know, those are guys just that are just throwing fights. Nothing, no disrespect to those guys, but nobody's nobody's watching over them. It's like as to the T, yes. like Cambo. Things are very tight-knit ship here. Tight -knit. Huffer going straight back. Ooh, both swinging wild. 
Oh, and Somerset straight into the mount. Right, right into the mount. If I'm him, I'm looking to posture up. Maybe use that arm that he's framing to lock an arm triangle or, or maybe just throw down some shots and just call it a night. Oh, man. Keep surfing him. Was it the back of the head? Couldn't see from my angle. Was it the back of the head? Yeah, I think you've called a stop to the action due to back of the head strikes. From my angle, it looked clean. Uh, Hard to say though. From my angle, I got a ref's got the best view. I got a Canon so. camera in my way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, losing position, no points taken. Back to the action here. And it's amateur fights in their debut. Uh, I think that's a proper call, anyways. Somerset walking forward with his hands down. That's a good right hand from Huffer. Yeah, but Somerset, Somerset looks like the more skipping. experienced striker on, on the feet. Yeah, I just don't. I don't like that he's just walking up to him with his hands down like that. Yeah, that's always a oh, and it's, it, head kick just taking Huffer. a nasty head kick on the left side of his chin. But straight into a takedown attempt. He's got him against the cage, looking to lock those hands. If I'm Hyphy Huffer, I'm looking to I'm looking to get an underhook with my right hand. Jack up that underhook and circle away circle from the cage. Away from the cage. Yep. Versus just yeah, accepting this position. I got double unders at this point. Big deep breath from Huffer. Not necessarily where I want to be, but it's better. But I gotta swim that right arm underneath like he's doing. Get that underhook. Now now go. lift it up. Now Turn lift it up cage. and turn. There you go. Oh boy. It's almost like they Ooh. can hear me. Ooh, Somerset just rocked Huffer. Well, Huffer answered back, though. Somerset throwing some wild shots, but Hyphy with a nice high guard. Looks like he uh, rolled with most of those punches. This fight's awesome. This is a great fight, folks. This is awesome, man. I would love to watch this on YouTube. With you, so. <laughs> And this is a pay-per-view. This is a pay-per-view event, so saying freaking shouldn't be too bad, eh? Yeah. All right. I mean, we're watching. We're watching grown men try and basically Bad kill each other. Kill each other. Oh. Get up! Get up! Stop! 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 Back of the head again. Oh man, but these are back of the head shots. He's gonna take a point. Kane Vandal. Kane Vandal. Kane Vandal. Oh, grab the cage. Damn, the position, no point taken. Kane Vandal, a lot of experience in this cage. Yeah, if I'm high feet though, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta have a sense of urgency here, just slightly, because <clears throat> I think Summer. I think Summer sets ahead of. Yeah, Summer sets just edging me out every single round. That was very nifty, using the cage to keep his balance for that kick. <laughs> I, need, I need to try that when I fight six-footers, bro. <laughs> It'll help. Maybe. I might, I might finally hit, that, hit the shoulder. <laughs> you caught me with that kick from training. Well, that's Sometimes. It depends on the warm-up. Got a good stretch there. There we go. Good scramble. Nice body kick to that's end the break. In here. Ooh. Ooh. Good teeth. Teeth to, to a straight right. 
His punches are looking a little more weathered, though. Oh, nice knee. Yeah, but those body. knees aren't. Those knees aren't. If I'm him, I'm, I'm jacking up those elbows, and I'm just keeping the knee game going. Nice uppercut. Good hook. Oh, Huffer's laying the wood. Hyphy. No, Hyphy. Box. Oh, Somerset's tough as nails, though, pushing forward. Ooh, oh. and the face. Oh, Somerset not Somerset. phased by any of it, oh. though. Oh, my God. What a roar. What a dog. <laughs> Man, the people and the fans are going crazy. Hey, tell me Somerset doesn't remind you of uh, skinny Michael Chandler. Skinny? Oh, <laughs> absolutely. That, I, I, if, that, if that's Michael Chandler's doppelganger, I don't know what, I don't know what is. <laughs> Somerset, you're a dog. Ate that head kick. Flex. Hey, so far, fight of the night in my book. That's fight of the night, 100%. I mean, hey, we got, <laughs> what, 12 more fights? But Here all night. That, that was pretty dang good. What a head kick from Puffer, man. To be honest, I don't really care. Both these guys, there are no losers tonight from this fight. That is for sure. Yeah. No, that was definitely a man's fight. Both sides had their moment. I don't even want to say split because every time I've said split, apparently it's a unanimous. Maybe that's why I'm not a judge, or maybe I should be a judge because maybe I love, maybe I know a little bit more. A thing or two. Maybe I know a little bit more. No disrespect to the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of slugfest, our judges have rendered a unanimous decision. All three judges scored the fight 29 to 28 in favor of the winner in the red corner. Hey, you know what though? 20, 29, 28 rounds, it's, it's a close fight. Nothing to hang your head about. No. Even though that's a unanimous decision, that is a razor. That, that means that somebody saw it just slightly a different way.